So, you want to be a bounty hunter. You've just gotten elite. Congratulations. Welcome to the uh, Pilots Federation. Plenty of jobs. There's traders, there's miners, there's bounty hunters, there's assassins. Bounty hunting early on is going to be your, well, I can't say it's going to be your key to riches, but it was my key to riches early on. It's a good start, and if you know how to run the system, it's, uh, it's a good way to build up that nest egg for the bigger and better ships for whatever profession you want to get into. Mining, exploration, big time commodity trade, you name it. If you're just starting off in the game, you've got one of two ships. You're most likely going to be starting with the Sidewinder. Take a look here, we got two small hard points and two utility hard points. The small hard points start off with the, uh, if I remember right, the basic gimbaled pulse laser. Internal bays, you have a, you can pack lightweight, reinforced, military, mirrored, or reactive armor. Reinforced is, well, all these armor packs are pricey and are later purchases after you've gotten some uh, shooting done. Depending on how much money you have to start with, all of these are going to be, want to be upgraded fairly quickly. But the first thing I would suggest upgrading for any bounty hunting pilot is going to be the shield generator. Shield generator you're going to want is going to be the 2C biweave field generator. It's 20% weaker than standard shields. However, it's 50% faster in recharging, which puts you back in the fight that much quicker and helps you make the money that much faster. So go down here. Here is the class one biweave shield generator. All biweaves are class C. Um, their mass, or their, sorry, C rated. Their class is dependent on how big a, a module point you have for the shield mounting. These are also 26 grand, so they are going to be, they aren't going to be your very first purchase. Unless you get some uh, good luck out in the rings. And the rings are where the money is. I started off hunting at uh, nav beacons around stars, and it was only later on that I discovered the real money was to be made in rings. So what you want to do is you want to go into your galaxy map. And you want to go up here to the view tab and hit map. Then you want to scroll down and deselect everything except extraction. That will show a list of systems in the area highlighted. And all these systems have extraction. Mining, pulling, pulling minerals and metals out of the uh, asteroid belts and out of the rings. That's where you're going to find it. Now if you need to, I'd suggest buying the system data. That is this icon here. Purchase exploration data. Pick it up and that will give you the layout of the system you're going towards. What you're going to be looking for is a system with a ringed gas giant or a ringed terrestrial planet. Either way. I'm already in a system that has it, HIP 16607, and you can see it on the system map here. All right. You're going to want to go to the Info tab, and you're going to want to look for the information here. It says here on the A ring, the ring type is metallic, and on the B ring, the ring type is rocky. There's also a fairly good population in the system, so that would indicate there is extraction going on in these rings. All right, so you fly to a system. And you may have to do a couple of bolt and board missions just to build up a little bit of cash, just as a uh, just in case you get blown up, just in case you run out of fuel, etc. So let's get taken off here.
Let's make sure the guns are set up properly. And the discovery scanner going to fire group 2, trigger 1. and out the door we go. Type 9 in the way, just kind of nudge around him. If you're just starting out, the cops shouldn't be a problem because you couldn't have done anything illegal that fast. If you have, congratulations! As you look at your system tab, menu 1, you'll see your navigation. And in your navigation you will see conflict zones and resource extraction sites. Your sensors will automatically pick up on any resource extraction site within a thousand light seconds. High intensity re uh, resource extraction sites have a whole lot of activity, a whole lot of pirates, a whole lot of cops in the area. Low intensity, pretty self-explanatory. Hazardous has no police presence. You can shoot up whoever you want, whenever you want, and you will not get penalized until you exit that site and police presence will pick up on your, um, on the crimes you've committed. Now, having no cops in the area also means that it's sort of a every pilot for themselves situation. So be careful. Higher profit, higher risk. I'm going to start off going for a high-intensity resource extraction site, and this particular one is located around HIP 166072. Lock it in, and hit it. As a starting bounty hunter, what you're going to want to do, let's see if this is actually in shadow or not, it's really close to shadow. That's not exactly the best, best thing we're going to want here. So let's change plans and go into the low intensity site over here. You want to set your throttle in the blue zone, and if your approach timer, seen, your approach timer at 17, 16, 15, if you want, the best thing you want to do is to get it down to the six second mark. Put your throttle there in the blue zone so the indicator needle turns blue as well, and we are on track for the resource site. Safe disengage. Drop. Exiting. Alright, you're going to want to use your power. Put four pips to the engines just to get a little bit closer to the action. And you're going to want to go weapons hot. Now this being a stock sidewinder, there's not a whole lot of power in the capacitor for engine boost. Okay, your first target. If you scan a ship, you want to make sure that little red wanted indicator there is lit up. Otherwise, if you shoot somebody before that wanted indicator shows up, the police will count that as assault on a um, unconfirmed target, and they will open fire on you because there will be a sudden bounty on your head. This guy being mostly harmless, we're just going to open fire. Okay, destroy. 
And almost 4,700 credits later, there you go. As long as you are not carrying cargo in a resource site, pirates will scan you, but they will not attack. And right there, there is a fight. The police have locked on to Fiona Logan. They're currently dropping her shields very quickly. So what you want to do is get in, open fire, make sure you don't hit any of the cops. And she's turned red. She was hostile. I managed to tag her with a shot. As long as they are red and hostile, and you've tagged them within 10 seconds or so of their destruction, you get full credit for the kill. So these low intensity and high intensity resource sites are good for the uh, upcoming bounty hunter because the police can help take out some of the more difficult targets. Okay, I've got a young Davo scanning me. Over to my contacts, and there he is. Is he... is in a Cobra Mark III. With no shields. The police are opening fire on him. Join in on that action. And there's 19.5 grand right there. Okay, there is a pirate opening fire, it looks like, on that one right there. That was a harmless or a clean miner. This pirate opened fire. And now the cops and the miner and me are all firing on him. And you can see the cops. There he goes, he's gone. Bernard Lane is just locked on. Right there. In an adder. Mostly harmless. And is being fired upon by the police. Now when targeting a ship, larger ships, fighters, it doesn't really matter. But larger ships like pythons, asps, etc. What you want to do is target specific points on them. Their power plant, for example. What you want to do is go over to menu 1 and move over to your sub-targets tab and then scroll down till you find their power plant. And then that is locked onto, and you can see that on the lower left of my screen, saying it is at 100%. If you target the power plant of a ship and take it out, then the ship is severely crippled in terms of power generation, its shields probably won't be recharging, its guns will be out, its drives will be out, and if destroying the power plant doesn't wipe them out right off the bat, they're a sitting, dunk, sitting duck for any follow-up attacks you want to give. Sensors in this ship not being the greatest. 
There's not too much I can see. That's another upgrade you're going to want to make. Eventually. And speak of the devil, here is a python. Mostly harmless. And wanted. So we move over to our sub-targets. Select the power plant. Scan He's scanning. And the police are opening fire. That gives wonderful distraction for opening fire yourself. Even if you don't manage to destroy the power plant, it's still, if shots miss the power plant, they impact the hull. No loss. And just like that, almost 54,000 credits richer. So, you're done hunting. You've just made your fortune. Or at least a much bigger pile of money than you had when you started. What do you do? You tuck in the weapons. You go to the nearest um, or preferred station of your type in the system you're in, if it has one. Now I'm being mass locked by a larger vessel. I'm still charging, but very, very slowly. If you're being chased by a ship, this can be a dangerous situation. In that case, I would recommend jumping to another system, as the high-powered hyperdrive is only slowed down slightly instead of so significantly as the uh, low-powered uh, supercruise or warp drive. Power management is also critical. Power to your systems, your shields are much more resilient the more power is pumped into them. And they recharge from damage, as long as there's power in the system capacitor. Power to your engines, your ship actually moves faster the more power is assigned to it, and the capacitor recharges faster, so you can use your boost more often. Power to weapons, self-explanatory. No power for weapons, no shooty, no money. My preferred power configuration in the fight with all thermal weapons like lasers would be four pips to your weapons and two pips to your engines, or four pips to your weapons and one each to your systems and your engines, which provides enough of a trickle charge to the shields and engines that you can boost, etc. if need be. And I got a little over eager, punched the throttle at the wrong time, going to go flying past the planet. Or not. Sometimes you get lucky that way. Get to seven kilometers of the station. Let's proceed with your normal docking procedure. Falcon DeLacy, Kilo, Yankee, Lima, request landing clearance. Docking request initiated. Request which you can see as the central dot on your compass to the upper left of your sensors. If you get lost in the station or you can't find your docking pad, use that dot to center you on where your pad should be. Engines disengaged. 
Now, one thing I neglected to mention, in this particular system, there is a 20% bonus to all bounties. And that's because under the power play system, uh, Emperor Arissa Lavigny Duval of the Empire, any system under her direct control, not exploitation, troll, is granted a 20% bonus to all bounties, whether you are a member of the power play system or not. But that aside, this procedure works for any system with rings, extraction sites, and stations. So go into your contacts. And with that, 114,000 credits. I can't remember if I had any bounties prior to. I don't think I did. But 19, there's 19,000 for... This is about right. There you go. You've been paid off by Red Dice Systems. There were no bounties for the Empire in this system. Unfortunate, but systems with multiple factions will often pay multiple times on various targets. Once you have enough money built up, start to improve your ship a little bit, as well as getting a kill warrant scanner. Kill warrant scanner basically lets you get paid multiple times for things. It lets you get paid for um, targets whose jurisdictions are out of this system. Okay, needs to be put in a fire group, so go over to our fire groups. Kill warrant scanner will be on trigger two of fire group one. Show you how to operate the kill warrant scanner. Just not very powerful lights on the Sidewinder. There's an asp coming in, or adder, coming in from up above, and you don't want to hit anybody if you're going over 100 meters per second. We'll get fined for it. But this is a good time to do a scan on somebody. You have to have your weapons out, and make sure you don't confuse the loud boomy trigger with the scanner trigger. Hold down the trigger on the secondary, and you will see the scan slowly complete. If he'd been wanted, it would have shown his bounties for the Federation, the Empire, and the Alliance. Nice view as he warps out. He's gone. So, you can get paid multiple times. Here, this is a imperial system, or a system with imperial sympathies in some of its corporations and factions. So you would be paid an imperial bounty here, as well as a bounty from the local factions like Red Dice Systems, and who else do we have here? The Empire League, Creative Holdings, two Empire Leagues, the HIP-16607 Empire League and Songbala as well as the Independence, Red Dice Systems, etc. If you get lucky, if you find a fairly nasty target, you will be paid for, paid for taking them out by all of the factions, as well if you have a bounty a kill warrant scanner of being paid in the other major powers. Falcon to Lacey, Kilo, Yankee, Lima, request docking clearance. Our 
pad right there. Gear down. And there we go. Bounty Hunting 101 for if you're just starting off in a Sidewinder. The principles are exactly the same for the Eagle Mark II, it's just that the Eagle has one more hard point. Fly safe, Commanders. Commander Kyle Donovan, logging out.